I have ghosts and goblins outside. I want them to go away. <laughs> right, right. There we go, a super good for my Joe and Jimmy. Good morning, Double R Radio. Halloween morning. Do, do, ba, do, do, do. Anyways, 8.33 in the morning. Thanks for waking up with me on this Halloween morning. And uh, ghosts and goblins are falling from this guy here in San Antonio. And I was talking about this a while ago. And I stand by this. I had several guys send me messages uh, pissed off at me. Because um, I was saying that how sad it is that our San Antonio women are driving all the way to New Orleans for their trick or treat. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm just I'm just reporting it as it's being told to me, man. Okay, I don't want the guys all pissed off saying, "Hey, Robert, what's your problem, Robert?" Look here, man. All I'm saying is our women from San Antonio are driving somewhere else to get their trick or treats. That doesn't sound right to me. That's all I'm gonna say. But hey, <laughs> hey man. Um, let, let me just say this. I'm gonna I'm gonna share a story with you guys. This is what happened to me yesterday, and this is uh, actually let me see what today. When today Wednesday? No, this happened to me Monday, and this is all true, man. All kidding aside, you know this is all true. Monday afternoon, I was getting ready to get onto the freeway right from where I was at, and you know how you're getting onto the little access road before you get the freeway. Well, I was on the little access road getting ready to catch the freeway. All true. And I noticed like a big white kind of a thing, like a, I thought it was a piece of paper because it was kind of like moving back and forth. And I said, oh, it's a piece of paper. Nine times out of 10, I'll always go around something. It doesn't matter. I don't take a chance. I always go around. This time I didn't. I don't know why I didn't. And I said, I'll just run over this piece of paper. Lo and behold, as soon as I got real close up to it, it was a white ceiling fan, but like a big ceiling fan. And Riata, man, I mean, my tires didn't go over the fan, but my vehicle did. And I could hear the chingazos underneath my car where it was like, you know, just, you know, tumbling and kicking and hitting and whatever for about five seconds, man. And I said, man, I'm in trouble. No lie, man. The last time I ran over a fan was when he threw me the finger telling me Robert Reeves Radio sucked. I ran over his ass, but this one here, it wasn't that kind of a fan. This was a ceiling fan. So after about five seconds of tumbling, little chingazos and everything, I mean, the car just kept on going, and I saw the, the ceiling fan in the back of me where the blades were all, you know, beat up and everything, and I could swear I could hear the ceiling fan saying, Help me! Please help me! And, uh, well, I, I wasn't going to help him. I mean, nobody told that ceiling fan to get in the middle of the road. That's all I'm going to say. Nobody told that ceiling fan to get in the middle of the road. So, uh, well, um, word has it that on KCF 12, is that they were showing an ambulance picking up the ceiling fan, and they were asking the fan, Hey, uh, sir, uh, um, did, did, did you get the license plate of the vehicle, the vehicle identification number of that car that ran over you? No. <laughs> no, I didn't. So there you go. <laughs> all I'm going to say is one less fan for Robert Reeves Radio. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. So much, it, like I said, man, how in the hell does a ceiling fan get in the middle of the Camino? That's what I want to know. Good morning, John. I'm going to have to Terry Tejana Duarte. Good morning, Connie Villarreal. Good morning, Henry Torres. How are you doing, Henry Gencadillo? Good morning. Gregorio Rendon, good morning, Cindy Martinez Hernandez, good morning, Cindy. Uh, let me see, you don't want to miss anybody here. Lori Alguin, hopefully I got that right, Lori. Hopefully I'm saying your name right. I don't want to you know, say it wrong, then you go looking for me and you want to throw some chingazos. Good morning, shout out, good out to my prima, Irene Gayona. Good morning, prima, how are you doing, prima? My prima, I'm going to give you all a fun fact about my prima. Uh, we're related, no doubt, we're related, but my prima, um, she likes going to Whataburger and starting trouble. <laughs> <laughs> she likes kicking ass. Really, man. We know. Can you imagine being in line for a Whataburger and some girl tells you, hey, man, how would you like a Whata chingazo? Get out of the way. My prima doesn't like standing in lines. So what my prima does, she goes and threatens the people that are standing in line because she wants to be at, at the top of the line. So she'll start telling them at Whataburger, hey, how would you like a Whata chingazo? 
And they go, no, no, no. So they let her get in front. And then she'll tell the next person, how would you like a what a chingazo? No, no, no. So she gets in front of them. There you go. My prima, man. Gotta love her. Gotta love her. I like her spunk, but prima. If you need a bell bouncement, just let me know. Prima, I know several bell bouncements once you get thrown in jail. Because it's going to happen sooner or later. Good morning, John. I'm going to Renee and Zaldua. Good morning, Rosie Lopez. Buenos dias, buenos dias. Now, it is Halloween. Oh, yeah. By the way, by the way, I almost forgot to report this. Um, yesterday, early noonish, whatever, Patsy Torres, we all know Patsy Torres, San Antonio's very own Patsy Torres, was performing at the, um, what the hell is that thing called? Well, we'll go with downtown San Antonio, right? Uh, Patsy Torres was performing in downtown San Antonio with Ben Miranda, and they were doing their thing, and they were performing, all true, they were performing for senior citizens in downtown San Antonio. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Several videos have been posted, and on these videos, I mean, for some reason, Patsy Torres decided to perform Boots Couldn't Boogie. Now, all these senior citizens, man, they're 90 years old and up. They can't do the Boots Couldn't Boogie, but Patsy decided to play it anyway. Well, when it was all said and done, they didn't do the Boots Couldn't Boogie. They did the Boots Couldn't Walker. They were in a can of leg, bang, jack. They were doing the Boots Couldn't Boogie with walkers. Boots Couldn't Boogie. And some of them had IVs in their arm, and some of them were on hospice and everything, but they were out there doing the Boots Couldn't Walker. Man, that's daring, Patsy Torres. Daring to play the Boots Couldn't Walker out there for 90-year-old people. I'm serious, man. Really, and no lie. I happened to drive through there looking for a couple of, you know, extra dollars with Uber, so I drove through there. And there was this one 90-year-old prostitute. This 90-year-old prostitute made the moves on me. I'm not making this up, man. This 90-year-old woman came up to me and she goes, Hey, who would you like a gum job? I said, a what? What would I like? Who would you like a gum job? A gum job? I don't think so. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> what do you mean a gum job? <laughs> so anyways... Word has it also that there were so many senior citizens at this event yesterday that they were going through diapers like a beaver goes through wood. I mean, diapers were flying in the sky. They were changing diapers and doing this and that for these senior citizens. And there was this one senior citizen that was like, hey, hey, hurry up, hurry up. Put me la mantilla because I want to go do the boots couldn't walker. Put me la mantilla de volada. And there you go, man. Everybody was trying to do the boots couldn't walker at the senior citizen event. <laughs> I, I don't think I could do an event for seniors. I, I got nothing against them. Hell, man, I'm a senior citizen. But anyway, <laughs> I am. I'm 58, man. <laughs> no lie. Anyway, <laughs> um... So, I mean, I just cannot see, pobrecito, those senior citizens, man, they couldn't keep up with Patsy Torres, because Patsy Torres, her, her events, man, her performances are high energy, really, and, you know, <laughs> she would play one of their favorite songs, and you see two or three viejitos running from the restroom, hanging onto their diaper, falling out, just trying to get out there. Really, man? <laughs> pobrecito, those senior citizens, man. <laughs> so, anyways, uh... They say at this dance, they had more EMSs than vehicles that were parked in the parking lot, man. EMSs were on standby at the senior citizen event, <laughs> man. And for me to be approached by a hooker, a 90-year-old hooker offered me a gum job, I don't think so. Anyways, I tell you what, um, I'm going to give you all some fun facts here on some of the candies that, are be that will be given out tonight on Halloween and some of the popular candies. Now, one of the most popular candies, which I hate, I will not touch it. I don't care if I'm dying of starvation. I will not eat this candy, is um, uh, candy corn. I hate candy corn. Oh, my God, man. I can't even look at it. Another one that's very, very popular is peanut butter cups. Reese's peanut butter cups are very, very popular. Also, another very popular candy that will be given out tonight will be the Tootsie Roll. I'll never forget the time I, you know, I, I love Tootsie Rolls, but I, you know, you know, we couldn't afford them back when I was a kid. So, um, you know, I told him, Dad, can I have a Tootsie Roll? He goes, no. And I said, well, I have to get my Tootsie Roll the old-fashioned way. I went and he went poopy. -poo. And there you go. That was my Tootsie Roll. Um, let's see here. What else? In Japan, one of the favorite candies in Japan for Halloween is a Kit Kat. That's one of my favorites, too, and they don't got to be Halloween. <laughs> Another popular...
favorite candy for Halloween is Baby Ruth. Baby Ruth's are real popular. Also, the Milky Way. No, not in outer space. The candy bar is very, very popular to be given out. Also, uh, what the hell is this? Also, M&Ms are very, very popular to be given out. Also, Lifesavers are a popular, 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 popular food item. Uh, M&Ms, there we go. And uh, let me see here. What else is popular? Let me see here. Um... People like to get dressed up as E.T. for Halloween as well. Hell, man, I've dated a couple of girls that look like E.T. and they weren't, they weren't dressing up for Halloween. That's all I'm going to say. I mean, the E.T. girls that I met, they were out there. E.T., they were out there, man. E.T.'s were looking for peepees. That's what they were doing. Peachy uh, E.T.'s looking for peepees. That's what they were doing. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I'm not playing either. <laughs> also, another popular candy to be given out on Halloween are Snickers candy bars. Snickers are very, very popular. Uh, let me see here. I'll give you a couple more. No, I don't want to do that. There we go. There we go. Um, uh, Butterfinger. Butterfingers are very, very popular. Junior mints as well are popular to be given out on Halloween. Anyways, what time is it? 8.43 in the morning. It is uh, Wednesday morning. It's great to be back. It really, really is. Don't want to miss anybody. Good morning. Shout out going to Tiger, Gonzalez, Gloria, uh, Rodriguez. Good morning. Angela Mata, Buenos dias. Irene Gayona. Good morning. Good morning. Ah, oh, Prima, you like candy corns, Prima? You like candy? I'll never forget. No lie. This is all true. One time I dated a girl. Her toes look like candy corns. And she goes, Robert, will you kiss my toes? I said, get the hell out of here. I wouldn't even look at your toes. Kiss your toes. Four to five old candy corn girl. Anyways, uh, Maria Lopez. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Brenda Zepeda Castillo. Good morning. Henry Torres says, happy Halloween, Robert, from Lubbock, Texas. And I have more Lubbock. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Anyways, like I said, it is Wednesday morning. We're getting ready. You need to log on right now. If you're not, you need to log on and join me because coming up next, the interview that my sidekick, Dr. Pepino, did with Frankenstein. That's coming up right after the song. So look at log on right now and join me at robertreewardsradio.com. Just click on the blue button and you'll be listening to the big interview that was done with Frankenstein coming up next. Good morning. Man, I'm trying to wake up here, man. I'm not seeing a hangover. I had too many beers yesterday. Trying to snap out of it. 8.44 in the morning. Join me right now. Frankenstein. Interview with Frankenstein. Coming up next. Join me. <laughs> 